Peter Dodds. I have a background in math, physics, electrical engineering, but I've spent a lot of time also in, in the social sciences as well. Understanding how, how large groups function, uh, we've of course been worried about how we should run society forever, really. We've moved to an age where people are connected online. People can communicate at incredible rates with all sorts of people. They can digest and move information around. Uh, it's unparalleled. It's crucial that we understand it from a basic science point of view. What happens when you connect people in different types of networks, for example? Will they produce uh, a good outcome, a biased outcome? And some of our work uh, in particular then is looking at uh, emotions, how emotions spread. Um, the contagion of emotion, if you like. There's one site in particular, wefeelfine.org, that um, we've been harvesting data from. They, of course, in turn have been harvesting data from blogs. Uh, any sentence that starts with, uh, I feel or um, I am feeling, they pull that off a blog and, and then you have a, a timestamp, and in some cases you have the age of the blogger and where they live. So you have this demographic data, which is very important. Uh, and we've been able to find out a, a, a number of things because now we're watching what people do. We're not asking them uh, uh, how they feel. We're watching how they express themselves. This is really getting at a fundamental problem for, uh, for measuring how well society is doing. Right? We're not used to understanding how 100,000 people will behave. There is a transition, uh, I think, in the social sciences where you move away from just having ideas, abstract ideas about how, how society should function, how an economic system should function. We can go and look. Now we can go and look. We just did not have that data before. Mm -hmm.